Welcome to the Bridge Talk, our last talk of the year. And today we have with us a, a Fabrizio Muzzi. Hello, Fabrizio. How are you? Hello, Anna. I'm fine. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for this invitation. Thanks, Isaac, for this opportunity. Good afternoon to everybody. Yeah, I'm yeah. here today to talk to you about Paralaw. Talk about great, Paralaw great. in 30 minutes. It's great a little bit. To finish the year. So I'm going to introduce a little bit uh, Fabrizio Muzzi. OK. He has a law degree. He worked as a judge since 1997. Uh, he is from Brazil, from Cascavel. Now he's living there. And uh, he's, volunteer, uh, he's a volunteer from Conscienciology to, since 2016. He uh, currently volunteers at JurisCons, and he's a teacher of Conscienciology since 2008. OK, so as we said, it's a pleasure to have you here. And uh, we are really glad uh, to know what you have to say to us about Paralog. So good luck. OK. Oh, thank you. OK, let's go. Uh, I would like to say if you have any questions, please uh, make yourself comfortable to, to make these questions during this talk. Uh, as in any talk about conscienciology, I will advise you to the principle of disbelief. That means don't believe in anything, not even in what you hear in this talk. Have your own personal experience. That's an invitation to think about uh, in what I will say to you in this talk. If uh, what I say doesn't make any sense to you, there is no problem. The intention here is not to make any kind of doctrination. If it makes any sense, please think about it. It can be useful for you. All right. Uh, Conscienciology is a science uh, applied to the study of the entire consciousness in an integral and comprehensive manner. I apologize for my English. So uh, what's the difference between conscienciology and the other sciences that studies consciousness? Uh, the consensual paradigm, paradigm. There is a previous talks of uh, Isaac in this year about the consensual paradigm and all of these topics. Uh, in which you can have more information. I just put it here to make some context so I'll be able to talk to you about parallel. All right? So, bioenergies. Our life is energetic, right? You change energies with another consciousness all the time and with the environment. And we divide for didactical purposes uh, the energy in uh, conscientious energy and also immanent energy. Immanent energy is the energy that is available in the nature, and conscientious energy is that kind of energy that we was worked uh, that came was manipulated by the consciousness. All right, and uh, we consider a multidimensional existence. So it's a broader uh, approach of the intraphysical paradigm. So we have uh, intraphysical dimension. It's this here where we are now, but we also consider, consider as an energetic dimension, an extra physical dimension, and to our consciousness manifestate uh, itself in these uh, several dimensions. We have several vehicles of manifestation, so we got an holosoma. And also we take uh, as a, a premise uh, multi-existentiality. So we will live several lives. Our consciousness will, uh, the essence will not die. We will have our vehicles, we will reborn, got some vehicles to manifest in this intraphysical dimension as this soma, this human body. 
will die, will lose that vehicle, will spend a time in an extra physical dimension, and will come back to still learning and evolving. We also have as a premise cosmoethics. So if we have moral that uh, our, our behavior and ethics that studies our behavior, what, why we do what we do, when we have a broader approach, a broader vision of the universe uh, as a multidimensional universe, we have, we need a broader uh, moral to study our behavior in the several dimensions. And we have need a broader ethics to think about our, how are our manifestation in these dimensions. Universalism, okay. We have no kind of prejudice. We, uh, this is for everyone who wants to study. There is no, it's not for people which are just elected. And self-research, that means first uh, person research or first person science, we are at the same time uh, this observer and the subject of our study. Okay, so the invite here is to try to apply and validate in your own experience the topics and the information you have, you, you will listen here today. All right, so consciousness is the Siu, he, and I, it's everybody, it's the intelligent principle that's important in constant evolution that utilizes specific vehicles to manifest in diverse dimensions through self-awareness and rationality with which ideas and self-tosenic actions are processed. All right, so we are this intelligence uh, who process ideas, thoughts, and make this world make sense to ourselves. We are not the body, we are not the brain. All right. Any questions for now? It's okay, please. And uh, as the great, greatest difference between the intraphysical paradigm and the conscientious paradigm, it's the idea of the construct of Tosen. That's an elogism, it's uh, bringing together thoughts or ideas, sentiments or emotions, and energy. These three elements are always all together. When I have an idea, I thought, think about something, I, it's association, associated and a sentiment or emotion. When I feel something or have an, a sentiment or emotion in a, a way that is associated, attached, inseparable, it's our thought. And uh, even when I think or when I feel, I spend energy uh, for the cosmos. And this energy will reach other people, will reach other consciousness, will reach other environments, okay? These three elements, we put the, them separated for didactical purpose, but they are in, together. So it's important to start in think to think about what we think and what we feel, because our ideas, our thoughts, our feelings, our sentiments, our emotions will spread, will go, go away and reach other people, other consciousness. This is uh, the difference. For example, let's think intraphysically. You, someone harms you and do you start to think, for an example, in a revenge. We end you stay thinking day after day on this. You even uh, feel pleasure, imagine of uh, this revenge. And in your intraphysical life and uh, in the intraphysical approach, nothing happens. It just are feelings, your ideas, and uh, we, you will never be punished by that. But when you consider and take uh, a look on the multidimensional approach or this uh, 
thinking, you are not just thinking, imagine, you are tosanating. So you are sending energy to other people. And that consciousness in which you are thinking will receive that kind of energy. And that energy will carry that this information, this information of thoughts and feelings. So remember, uh, Uh, when I to tell before between consensual energies and immanent energies, all right? So uh, the consensual energy is that immanent energy that is impregnated with our own tossings, all right? So let's start to think about uh, how are our tosination, all right? Everything good until now, Anna? Any questions? Can we go on? Uh, okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, uh, from the moment, there is no questions, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. So, let's come back and the idea of uh, the conscious consciousness in uh, permanent evolution. So, each consciousness is unique, all right? So, the evolution of the consciousness is personal and uh, non-transferable, right? But even evolution is individual, evolution is interrelated with the evolution of the group in which we live. So, we must consider that we live in groups today, and we have been living in groups since a long time ago. So we have an uh, evolutive or evolutionary group, and uh, we are inter uh, we interact with the other consciousness of this group. So we have uh, we have this idea: I tosanate the other conscious consciousness that is at my side will tosanate also, and. Uh, our tosanations will interfere with each other. So, the quality of our tosanation will interfere in our evolution, in the evolution of the group. And we are, and we can uh, separate it or study or look for these interrelationships in a construct that we call groupokarmic course. All right? So, in the beginning, we are in a phase of complete anomaly that calls into prison. We got uh, a lot of conscious, consciousness in the group that uh, uh, tosanates in uh, alike, in the same uh, level, how can I say, with an egoistic uh, preponderance. They think no, just no, about... No, 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 in a selfish, selfish way. Yeah. Thank you, Anna. In a selfish way, just thinking in uh, in himself uh, or in the group or in the country, the nation, but that thinks with a look uh, to himself and not to the the others. So, if a group is com is integrated or composed by a lot of consciousness, thousands or millions of consci consciousness. You can imagine all this consciousness resonating together in the same uh, standard, in the same pattern with the solution. So that will create an atmosphere, an environment, and these energies. I will send the energies and I will res receive a feedback from the environment with the, the same uh, energies, the, the energies of the other members of the group. And I will assimilate these energies and uh, the thinking, the thoughts and the feelings of the other consci consciousness will touch me. Uh, that's uh, how it worked. It was like a reverberation, how I can say that in English, Anna, please help me. But it will be a, like a, a synchronic uh, resonation, more or less. 
and we start in some day somehow it's a reverberation if you can say it's a resonance yeah. that, that we have from the others isn't it that you were you were going to say you want to oh. you wanted to say yes yeah. like yeah thank you Yes. So sometimes I would uh, start when, as I evolve, as I get more uh, lucidity, I understand more of the evolutive process. I start to change part of my tosanations and watch the group. But uh, I cannot, I'm starting to change, I'm starting to understand uh, how evolution works. And uh, I understand that way of causation, that way of acting, that behavior I have before is not good for me. It's not good for, from the group. But I am still in that group, OK? So even I try to tosanate, even I tosanate different, I have a, or, or think how to take me a part of the group, I will I'll still have suffer the interference of that uh, tosanations of the group. The well, I can say the hollow tosanic or hollow tosanation okay. of the environment. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, in that situation, I will be in a state of victimization. It's not, uh, oh, I'm the victim. Uh, uh, I'm the victim of something I help to create and I help to sustain with my energies in the past. And that is still there. I will keep going. And uh, when I uh, reach a stage and a phase and I get more autonomy, I can start like a recomposition. I can start to help that people before for my former group that uh, I will ask me, hey, come back here. I want you back here. I can start to help them and to clean what that kind of energies that I use it and that I gave to sustain, uh, to support that uh, environment that was pathological. That's the idea. At, until someday I will get in a state of liberation, I will liberate myself from my own selfish and go into a polykarma when I will make an, an uh, assistance or an inter-assistance with uh, no expect of any kind of return. That's mm -hmm. the idea. And how? I, I was I was going to ask to you that this is really related to parallel that you, I think now you are going to start talking about this uh, group of karmic course is really related to the uh, parallels that uh, you are going to talk about. Yes. Is yes, I'll, I'll get there because what we live in groups. We are interrelated and this group of karmic course uh, can show us the, the phases of the, our interrelations, all right? Parallel, uh, we'll study this set of norms, principle, and uh, parallels, I can, uh, rules, parallels as a rule or as, as a science, this, this set of norms of consensual manifestations. Or, and how the consensus manifests itself? Through its tosanations, all right? So parallel, we'll study these tosanations which are just straight and with integrity according to the synchronic flow of the cosmos. That's the, the idea. Because uh, we will, to study that, we will observe and uh, research and watch and uh, try to understand what really works in this evolution and what makes this evolution faster, how can I say? Uh, yeah. how, can, how we can evolve uh, quickly. How can quickly. we? Yes, oh, thank yes you. that's it. And um, Fabricio, uh, uh, we say docenity uh, to refer to the things, 
to the sentiments and the energy, those sanity, okay? This is the, the, the word that we use. Uh, instead of those a nation, I, I never uh, heard about this word. I think it's, it's those sanity, the correct word, okay? Okay, <laughs> those sanity. Uh, <laughs> and we have a question here uh, All right. about polykarma. So it would be interesting if you can answer it. And it's uh, from Livia Minsen. Livia, you can tell us where, where are you from, where you are now, okay? Would be good for us to know. So she's asking, couldn't polykarma be considered a new interpretation on another level, so to speak? So do you think that uh, polykarma, uh, it's a, a kind of a, as she's saying, light interpretation. Interpretation. Sorry. What do you think about it? Oh, let's think, Liv. Thank you for the question. It's an interesting question. Uh, can, how can I say? I don't know yet. Okay. But let's think about it. If evolution is con continuous. We have a, a scope, uh, we have an, an horizon in uh, which we can see and uh, try to understand. This does not mean that there is, mm, there is not another things beyond this horizon, beyond the, the, these limits, so we can uh, think, view, uh, and understand. I don't know how the this group of karmic course will function, will work in a stage of evolution that's much more advanced in, of uh, this stage in, in which I am on now. Yes, it's like we are talking a, in a mathological way because uh, some things we know in a theoretical way, but it's good to think about it. I think it's a very good question. But we we didn't experience the, that. Yeah, we didn't live that. What do you think about it, Fabrice? What is important to think about the, this? The idea is relevant. It ma makes sense to me. Uh, but uh, we can uh, we just cannot think about these phases of the group karmic course like a compartment, like a sealed bottle. Uh, no, we are in interprison. No, no, I'm not in interprison. Now I'm in victimization. No, 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 I'm right. There is some relationships, some uh, relations, some interconnections in which we can stay in a phase of uh, interprison as well in other points or other kind uh, areas of uh, our uh, manifestation and existence. With other groups, we can also be in a victimization and etc. Et so, if you sometimes I reach the polycarma, I don't know what, what's beyond polycarma. Maybe it's another interpretation. I don't know, but it's a very interesting thing. Thank you. So, tosanity, all right? Uh, that's the idea. So, we can. And we will study the quality of our sanity, all right? To understand, oh, the idea of Virginia. Virginia, uh, sorry, it's because my microphone was off. What, <laughs> sorry, was off, yeah. Uh, Virginia is saying that, that it, uh, I think it's the opposite, a new liberation, you may feel more free, but you have more responsibilities. <laughs> So it, okay, but what kind of responsibilities will you have so far? I don't know yet. That's the, the point I was talking. I cannot answer to this question because I have no experience of that. Hey, what, what we suppose is that the person, uh, I agree with that, has uh, more freedom to act, okay? And uh, always is with more responsibilities. Uh, freedom uh, goes uh, together with uh, with responsibility. Yeah, with more responsibility. She is also uh, 
saying that I think that we can open a polycarmic account in this life as an intermissive Yes. Uh, yes. I yes. <laughs> this, is our, this is something that uh, uh, we are trying to do here at uh, Consensiology also here in the IC Isaac. It's also that we are trying to do. But you can, you can, can do you want to to comment something, Fabrizio? I don't know. Uh, can we open our polycarbonic account in this life? I think we can. Let's yeah. say, Virginia, we are here to, as we understand and uh, our sanity, as we make, uh, we understand what it's good for our evolution. What, how we can uh, get in a phase or a stage of liberation in this existence. And uh, more important to understand how to do this, it's to put this in practice, that is hard. Uh, to put this in practice, so theory and, uh, theory and practice together, we can reach a stage of polycarbonate, it starts to think, but uh, what? that's the idea I put. We may have some polycarbonate actions uh, that are uh, this kind, and we have another kind of phase with an uh, other consciousness. We start to get, it's a process. Uh, there is no, uh, I don't imagine you have a certificate. Oh, you now you are a polycarmic consciousness. We will start to open now, but we will keep uh, putting more polycarmic actions and thoughts uh, in this account and in the other existence. All right. So let me let come back here. So parallel we study these norms and principles to observe how these interactions works and what is the effect of our tosanations, all right? And remember, to the cosmos has a, a flaw uh, and we can act according to this flaw or against this flaw. If we act according to this flaw, we can do, go faster. So we have to observe and pay attention to the synchronicities, all right? And we will get this idea of uh, parallel that is the correct use of immanent energy. So, if the consensual energy depends of the quality of our tosanity, all right, uh, how we tosanate will determine how we use our the immanent energy and the correct use will be a use more according to this this flow that puts our in a, a way to to go and evolve and not to fight against evolution and we as we study we get there the the idea and we, when we have the mega fraternity at its, its main value all right so to talk about tosanity uh uh, that we thought to, uh, to sins just straight and with integrity. That's interesting to think. To sanity, balance and impartial, uh, equal. I told this. I am a judge. I, my idea of uh, just to sin is um, if I am the judge, I will judge somebody. If I want, if I were that person that will be judged by me and I was in the position of that person, would, would uh, I would like this, I would like my judgment or, or I would not, all right? That's the idea, what is good for me to, it's right for me if I was in the, the other situation, will be also good for, for me, that kind of impartiality. Difficult this, all right? The idea of the may the best happen for all. The point is for all who it depends much more the perspective of, of who is looking the situation. All right. 
straight to sanity with rectitude of purpose, clear intention, unambiguous. Uh, it's the, the check of intention. Why, what for, for whom? All right. Remember, uh, in this intraphysical existence, you can hide your intentions, okay? You have, you may have uh, second intentions and hide that, but your energy carries your intention, your things, your feelings. So you, you that the other consciousness will assimilate uh, this energy, and uh, that will be an uncomfort uncomfortable situation, or can be. A, it will have some, uh, how can I say, difficulty to, some difference in, in between what I'm saying and uh, the quality of my energy that will give two different messages. So the rectitude means straight line, go ahead, it's faster, better. And with integrity, honest, theory, theory, gets theory and practice together incorruptibly coherent coherence with our evolutionary values <clears throat> so when we arrive in the idea what what's no good really is no good it's no use to cover yeah so once once i understand what is no good or not not useful anymore for the evolution i can drop these old values out it's no useful having these values and insist and uh, create some uh, excuses to keep these old values that I already understand that they are not good to me. So this, this honesty, uh, this integrity, it's by what I believe I do, what I talk, I act act before talking oh. that's the idea put this together and we have the the idea of the tosination of parallel all right so parallel will study the cause and effects of our own tosanations we theory see research and para research because remember it's not this only this intraphysical existence but a multidimensional existence and to research the, these causes and effects, or the law, or how works the law of cause and effect, we have tools to look and uh, understand what happens also in the other dimension. So we will need lucid self parapsychism to understand that. It can be a lucid projection, or, or even if uh, you don't have that kind of situation already did skill develop did already develop it pay attention to your energies and how your energies are before and after your interactions before and after your two things all right how do you so, so we have another question here uh, it's from Livia also how do you apply parallel on your everyday activities as a judge? So you have oh, a lot of parents, yeah. Very parents. Checking my intention. You know, uh, that's the main idea. Checking my intention and uh, uh, trying to understand why, uh, what I do and why, uh, what I did and wh why I did it. Because. Uh, uh, it's necessary sometimes some contention to other consciousness. So sometimes it's necessary in our stage of evolution to make decisions for other peoples who are fighting and because for uh, the society still going on, you have to put a point in a situation and say, well, from this point here from now on you take this line or we consider this situation so uh, what's the point of uh, parallel in uh, the activity of judge 
uh, check the intention. Why are you? Why the judge act? What is its real intention? Mm -hmm. And uh, how uh, how are the the quality of the judge's tosination? To, to sanity, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's important. I will recommend you to see, uh, there is a uh, discussions of Tertulia. I don't know how you say it here in English. Yes. But yes. It, it's a Tertulia. I wrote an entry for the Encyclopedia of Conscienciology called Magistratura. And wow. the discussion you can uh, learn about the the activity of the intraconsensual activity of the judge, that is the interesting thing to uh, understand and study parallel in this activity. Okay. All right. Great. There's another question here, uh, Fabrizio, uh, from Jacqueline. She's asking, can you give an example where the law may be followed, but the parallel is ignored? So the law, it's followed, but the parallel is it not. This is possible. It's possible. I'm trying to think in an example now. All right. So uh, you can think on death penalty uh, yeah. execution. Uh, it's a point. Uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's the it's the, the consciousness making some uh, evil action uh, to correct another evil action that's not an ev evolutive choice but we will follow the law but we will ignore the parallel because this kind of uh, situation will, will you will took away you um, steal the opportunity of that conscious that criminal conscious consciousness to learn and uh, to change his own behavior if you kill somebody you, in this existence you steal the opportunity to learn and you will remain this to another existence and that will reconfigure we will make another set, another theater, to uh, another play to put all consciousness together to, uh, to learn the important things of evolution. And we will keep and create interpretations with this criminal consciousness between the, the people that judge, that kill, that uh, support the killing, the executioner, because we just kill the other people. Uh, legally kill the other people because there is a lot of consciousness that support this kind of action, this kind of behavior, and support with their own energies. That's an important thing, to, important uh, matter to think about a point because I support a lot of things with my energies and my thoughts. All right, KJ. Okay, I'll tell you about mega fraternity. That was the, the value. <coughs> we use it to think about fraternity as a brotherhood, that uh, feeling that brothers uh, have each other in the family or uh, fraternity in uh, that uh, fellowship that uh, or there is in a group of work or study or school. So when we think about mega fraternity, we are going much more far than that, a broader view, it's a, a treating or consider every consciousness as your own brother, okay? And it's universal, it's universal, because you will not choose, everyone is your brother as a citizen of the cosmos, all right? That's the idea. And that's the point of parallel to understand this to sanity. So it's uh, interconsciential condition. 
So uh, these two words I would like to, to leave on this talk, that is self-unforgiven and heteroforgiven. It's not forgiving your own mistake, my own mistakes, self-unforgiven, but forgiving the mistakes of other consciousness. All right? So, self-unforgiveness, it's uh, not self-victimization. It's not self-punishment. It's to understand uh, that anything, any behavior that I have that is no good, any fault I, I make, I have my own mistakes, to under recognize that my, my mistakes, understand why I had that behavior, why I act like that, understand how that kind of manifestation works on me, and take efforts to recycle that kind of manifestation. So think, taking my own responsibility of my evolution, what uh, I did. Uh, I am a consciousness in constant evolution. So uh, I will evolve learning with my own faults. So self-unforgiveness, it's that idea. I will take responsibility and change for better, moving. And hetero forgiveness, it's the a decision. Uh, forgiveness is a skill to be learned and developed. It's to understand if we are all consciousness in uh, constant evolution, okay? Uh, the other conscious, consciousness will have their own mistakes. And what caused that? Uh, mistake. Why the, the other consciousness has uh, another another stage of development, uh, another view of life, another uh, thinks in another way, and even if he can uh, act uh, for who for him, he will be acting good. Okay. So try to understand what kind of mistaken they have because that situation, I will, if uh, I can understand that he's also learning like me, it doesn't mean not that I will support something that is being condensing to his mistakes and support these mistakes. Sometimes I have to put limits on the, the other's behaviors, the other's actions. But uh, what I'm saying here is like trying to understand why the other conscious, consciousness did that be, instead of uh, thinking in punishment or thinking that the, he's doing this just with you. That's the, the idea. All right. Hey, Fabrizio, we have a question from Leandro. He's saying, Fabrizio, please, what do you, what can you say about the mega fraternity chaotic course? I think it's a course that you have in U.S. Uh, Cons, I think. And yeah. What are your experiences in this course? Thanks a lot. So you can talk. Hello, to Leandro. You. The experience. Uh, so this this course is a. Uh, how can I say it? It's a field course, a bioenergetic. That's we create a bioenergetic field in this course, and uh, we can have uh, uh, an expanse of our own consciousness on that. And uh, what I feel and I experience, uh, it come came to me at all, a lot of situations from work, from life, for neighborhood of. Uh, that uh, in that situations also came and uh, another look to do that in which i could understand so it uh, understand a little more of the behavior of other people and that uh, puts my own uh, to sanity in change a little bit uh, my own to sanity so i thought that or i felt that of this situation, but uh, there was another approach, more intelligent of this situation. That kind of uh, expansion 
the course uh, gave to me and uh, was very interesting. When the our presidential activists come back, I recommend so to someone, uh, anyone who has not uh, done this course, do it. Okay. All right. So if we are, okay, uh, I don't know how much, uh, I mean, how many slides do you, you have, but we are just seeing the most uh, uh, finishing. So I don't know how, like, if you want to continue for five minutes. Do you think you can do it? <laughs> we can talk. Uh, I can talk with <laughs> I like to talk about Paraló. Yes. We can yes. talk more of, uh, as well. What I can say, that's in the end of the history, Paraló means mega fraternity. Sure. So we can talk about paralogists, uh, uh, the people who study Paraló. It's that kind of, that's an interesting thing to, uh, to, call, to call the people to think of your own sanity, all right? Because as you make these tosins go away, you are able, if you pay attention to your own sanity, it's to create a homeostatic and anti-conflictive environment. You can make like a bubble uh, to yourself and so other consciousness who came to you will enter in a environment that is orthocenic or uh, homeostatic and will keep, uh, it will be possible today to think more clearly or to get more intimate pacification intimate pacification so what paralogists do it's harmonies make the harmonization of the environments that's the main idea so that's important to to be parallel and that's uh, and taking back to live what they asked before that's the main idea when i am in the court of law with a lot of people so i try to make an environment that is homeostatic for all because when they arrive they usually are not uh, so self-pacificated all right, that's the idea. And I want to talk to you. Paralo is for everyone. So visit us at www.juriscons.org or in the Facebook Paradireitologia, ci.paradireitologia, or even in Instagram. Uh, I would like to talk, talk about, but by that time, thank you very much for this opportunity. Um, if you still have time, I'm available to answer more questions, Anna. Okay, I, I think there are no more questions. We are just arriving to the end. So thanks uh, a lot for your presentation. Thanks a lot for your ideas. And uh, so uh, guys, we, we finished uh, this year with the rich talk. And uh, next year, we're coming with more uh, talks, more lectures about more special things from Conscienciology. So thanks a lot, Fabrizio. Um, bye, everybody. <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Thank bye. you. Thank you.